While exporting, we can leverage a few events in order to add custom behavior to the export. There are two ways to use these events. One way is to implement the with events interface and then define a method named register events that will return an array of events. And inside this array, the key will be fully qualified name or FQN, basically the name of the event, and the value is a callable event listener. And this listener can either be a closure or an invocable class instance. All the events that are available can be seen on your screen right now, and let's discuss a little bit about them. The before export event gets fired before the export has started, like before everything else. Before writing event is fired when the export is completed and is about to be stored on a disk or downloaded by the user. The before sheet event is called when a sheet has been created but not yet anything is written on it. The last event is after sheet and you will be mostly working inside this because you can do different stuff like styling your sheets or making adjustments to your sheets. This event is fired at the last in the sheet creation process. One problem here is that we cannot use a closure for queued export because PHP cannot serialize the closure and it is mentioned in the documentation of Laravel Excel. So that brings us to the second approach, which is by using a trade call register event listeners along with the with events interface. So for this, we are going to implement our with event interface, but now we will also be using a trade on our export class. Now we can define each event method as a separate static method on our export class. Just in case if we have multiple exports file and we want to define a generic listener for all of them, we can define it inside the app service provider file and inside the register method of it. You might be wondering what these events are for. Actually, we can do quite a lot of things with these events, like adding properties to our report, setting the creator name or something, or description, setting the orientation, or we can also style our sheets. Coming to the last part of our video, which is adding RTL or right to left sheet, it is quite easy to achieve that. Inside the after sheet method, all we need to do is grab our sheet and uh, set the RTL to true. And the way we do that is by using the event parameter which is we are receiving and calling the sheet on it and then the get delegate method. And then on that, we will just set the RTL to true. The get delegate method returns an underlying PHP spreadsheet class. And this is how we can achieve the RTL support in our exports. If you find the video helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos.